Okay, so I'm going to line up the line between the second and third toes with the middle of my ankle, middle of my knee, middle of my hip. I'm going to maintain that alignment for every millisecond and every millimeter of every step. By extension, my heel will stay in alignment with my foot. I'm going to start with one foot forward like this. Doesn't matter which foot. I'm going to go forward, rise up on my toe. As I do, I want to drop my knee, which brings us to the first most common error. I see people doing this, which would be incorrect. We want that knee to drop, and then we're going to come forward nice and slow. Second most common error, as people lift their weight off of this leg, they will do this. I'm exaggerating, but essentially they let their thigh roll outward. We want to keep that rolled in. We also don't want this. See my foot? That's also incorrect. We actually want to just main, maintain perfect middle of the road alignment, okay? And to do this exercise correctly, it must be done very slowly. The speed I'm going right now is the correct speed. Set your heel down. This is called a heel reach. Notice I'm bringing my toes up pretty much as far as I am able to. And then I'm going to set the foot down, but I'm not going to transfer my weight. So if you look, I can pick that foot up without pushing myself back. Let me show you from the side. Okay. When I set the foot down, notice I'm going to kind of sit down over my back foot. Okay, watch. See? So I haven't transferred my weight. If to lift up your foot, you have to push yourself back, you did it wrong. Okay? And um, you do not have to lift up your foot every time, but the goal would be to be able to, so every so often lift up your foot just to make sure you're doing it correct. Okay? Now I'm going to transfer my weight. Rise up on the toe, drop the knee. Make sure as I come off, I'm staying aligned. Some people, it helps them to drag their toes along the floor. And everyone really should either have someone watching them, or they should have a full-length mirror in the beginning. Because otherwise, it's too easy to do this and not really realize it. Because you're trying to keep your toes aligned. But of course, that's not aligned. It's to the outside, right? So we want to bring that forward nice and slow, heel reach, set your toes down. Again, I can lift that up. I haven't transferred my weight yet. That forces you to gain control of the hip and knee and ankle. It is perfectly all right to do this in a hallway where you can stabilize yourself on the sides of the hall or to have walking sticks. This isn't about balance. It's about control of the legs. So it's perfectly all right to do those. Now we're going to switch in a moment. I'm going to have my daughter Liz demonstrate for you, and I'm going to troubleshoot her just so we can find common mistakes, okay? And start with one foot forward and the other foot back. And um, just do this for me. Take a look at your back foot and fix it. There you go. Okay, and transfer your weight to the front leg. Bend your knee. Stop. Now, if you notice, Liz's thigh here, just very slightly as she started to pull her weight off of her foot, her thigh started to roll to the outside just a little bit. And that's Liz's weakness on her right side. And everybody will have one that they have to really work at. Okay, but we're going to want to keep that lined up. Go ahead and bring your foot forward at the right speed. Bring that whole thigh in just a little bit. There you go. And heel reach first. Bring those toes in just a hair. There you go. And set that down without transferring your weight. Prove to us that you haven't transferred your weight. Okay, good. Go ahead and transfer your weight. And stop. As you transferred your weight, that back foot, the ankle twisted inward a little bit. So you actually did this, Liz. Watch mine. You kind of brought your heel in a little bit. We want to maintain that alignment, okay? Go ahead and come forward. There you go, perfect. Exactly right. Okay, so that was way too fast, right? So go back and try that again. Try to do it at the correct speed. Straighten your back foot. Wait, 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 straighten your back foot. There you go. And try to do it live speed. Good, much, still too fast. Slow down a little bit. Heel reach. 
set your toes down, prove to us you haven't transferred your weight. Okay, and again, you don't need to lift your foot every time, but you need to do it ever so often to make sure you're not cheating, okay? Now, stop. Notice that this foot, Liz's right foot, her ankle is creeping in a little bit, and her heel, as she transferred her weight to the front. So we really need to watch against that. So pivot your, your right foot, the heel out just a little bit. There you go, right there. And that's perfect. So we really wanna watch for those kinds of things. You need somebody paying it close attention, a full length mirror, everything you can do to make sure it's actually perfect. Part of the point is gaining control of those muscles. Part of the point is having your brain actually know where your feet are and what they're doing. We know that if you will do exercises that develop control over your feet and toes and knees and ankles, that you will have less low back pain, your body will just work better as long as you have that control. It's actually really, really important to your long-term structural health to maintain that alignment. And of course, I give this exercise out all the time. Many people have asked for a video of it, so here it is. Thank you.